the Apple Vision Pro device might be the biggest announcement Apple has ever made. And with that comes a giant opportunity for us developers. Let's dive into how building apps for Vision OS will work. So there will essentially be three types of experiences you can create and distribute in your apps. There will be windows, volumes, and spaces. Let me talk about all three of those in detail. So windows are basically what you already know from macOS and iPadOS. Those are 2D planes that can show some 2D UI. And essentially, they are just regular SwiftUI views, which means that you can transfer all of your existing SwiftUI and perhaps also UIKit and AppKit knowledge into this space and use that to build these 2D windows for VisionOS. It is to note that these windows can be freely resized and moved around in real space by the user, and they are also living inside of a so-called shared space. That means that the space is everything surrounding the user that is displayed and rendered by the Vision Pro system. And in a shared space, multiple apps can run and display windows and volumes at the same time. This means that, for example, you could have a notes window open and next to that a volume from your custom app and next to that a window playing one of my YouTube videos. So these windows and volumes will be in a shared space with other apps. They are not individual. Speaking of volumes, this is basically the 3D equivalent to windows. So while windows were 2D planes, volumes are now three-dimensional and they are mostly rendering AR kit or reality kit entities, so 3D objects. And just as Windows, these volumes live in the shared space together with other apps on the user's device. There is this shared space, but there are also dedicated immersive spaces that your app can provide. This means that when your app is running an immersive space, no other app UI is displayed to the user at the same time. This means that you can completely control the environment of the user through a immersive space. But actually there are three different styles of immersive space. These are the so-called immersion styles, which is just a view modifier in SwiftUI now. There's mixed, progressive, and full. And depending on which one of those you support, your app will have a different appearance to the user. So either the user can see your windows, volumes, and so on, but they also see their surroundings and people around them. Or they can start to turn the digital crown on the Vision Pro device to get immersed in your apps and uh, basically remove the camera free feed from Vision OS and only show what your app provides with a specific background, of course, and that's a three-dimensional, 360-degree background. Now, in order to build these apps, not only do we have these three different types of experiences, there are also three fundamental frameworks that you should look into in order to prepare yourself. First of all, there's SwiftUI. The SwiftUI lifecycle is used as in iOS, macOS, and iPadOS, and also watch and so on apps to build your main app, to have interactions with the system, with scene phases, and so on. So SwiftUI houses the main app lifecycle. Apple also recommends that the entry point to your app is always SwiftUI, so is a 2D experience, so the user has to opt in to be taken into an immersive space first. They should not be thrown right into an immersive space. Which means that your entry point is probably a window or window group in SwiftUI, which can then open immersive spaces and volumes as you go along. SwiftUI also houses your main UI, probably your settings window and so on, but also all your 2D and 3D interactions. Apple has shown a new way to attach gestures to entities in a ARKit scene is I, what I would call it now. And these 3D interactions can then be handled through SwiftUI through just a gesture modifier. Then of course there are the two other frameworks, ARKit and RealityKit. And those are needed to actually create your 3D content, display it, animate it, move it around, all of that good stuff. 
there will be a fully featured AR simulator available on the Mac that will be part of a future Xcode version. If you want to learn all about Vision OS development, make sure to subscribe to this channel so you're one of the first people to actually build apps for this new platform. The simulator that I mentioned is fully featured just like the iOS and iPadOS simulators on the Mac. You will be able to move around, to rotate and interact with elements in the scene. And the best thing about this is that there are several different predefined scenes like an office space, probably some stuff outdoors that you can choose from. So you can test your apps in real life scenarios on a simulator. The full documentation, the simulator and the SDK will come with a new Xcode version later this month.